Hey everyone, got another lock clamped up in the vise for you today. This time we're taking a look at a Den Brass lock. If I could get this flipped around for you. This is one of the locks that Den Brass sent me in the last trade we made. And it does work perfectly smooth. I mean, absolutely no ticks or nothing. And there's my sawtooth bidding. Pretty evil, guys. And it looks like a six pinner, so... Uh, See if we can't get in this one. Let's go with the uh, top of the keyway and let's go counterclockwise. Okay, nice clip from two. Nothing from three. Clip from four. Nothing from five, and nothing from six. All right, so let's pull this back out. One's loose. Got a click from two. Nothing on three. Got a slight turn on the core off of four. Okay, got a little bit off of five, or six, I mean. Okay, had a little bit off of two. Oop, I just overset one there. So let's go back in. Click from two. Nothing on three. Let's click from four. Nothing on five. And a little bit of difficulty getting underneath of six. So let me get a little bit shorter hook. Okay, nice click out of six. Another click from six. Let's go back to my original hook. Okay, got a couple clicks out of, uh, feels like pin four. And nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three. Nothing on five. Click and a little bit of turn on the core off of six. Okay, one solid, click from two. Counter rotation on two. Okay, another little click. I lost my false set. Okay, I got it. Oh, I opened it off of six. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see what Mr. Denbrass stuck in here for us. And dig my screwdriver out of here. And there's screw number two. Okay, it didn't feel like there was any T pins in there, so I'm going to go without shimming it this time. But there are T pins. There are T pin key pins. You can see that right away. Or actually, they look like pin and pins. Huh. Let's take a good look at these. One is a T-pin key pin that is serrated. 
two is a serrated, three is a pin and pin, four is a serrated T pin, five is a serrated T pin, and six is a serrated T pin. Pretty nasty stuff there, folks. I get this turn around here, and we got threads in every chamber. Very nice stuff, and these are some pretty good looking pins. As usual, I'll uh, zoom in on them and uh, give a good close up on them. And my tweezers have gone a wall. And I've got two pairs of them now, so uh, oh, there they are hiding behind some of the junk that I still have sitting on my desk. I need to pick up a little bit. Okay, got a nice uh, serrated spool. And a copper spring. Another nice serrated spool. With a copper spring just like the first one. Another nice serrated spool. A very, very long serrated pin. Lots and lots of serrations on that one. Very cool. Let's flip it around and get these ones out of the back. A, another very nicely serrated spool. But not least, another very nicely serrated spool. And all the springs are the same. Let's look up the top and uh, see if he did any threading in here. They all look smooth. And this top doesn't look like he's been into it. So, But, yep, every single one of them looks smooth. All right, so let's look at these awesome pins that Den stuck in here. Den Brass is a pin artist. And that is going to be very evident when you guys get a real good look at these pins. Okay, so I've got a really nice serrated T-pin key pin with a serrated double spool. Really cool pin. And you might even consider those serrations. I mean, I, I probably would. So let's call that uh, serrations with varying sizes of serrations. A very, very nicely done uh, serrated key pin. Very evenly spaced. Then we've got this one. It's uh, got a couple different step downs in it uh, with serrations in it. And uh, a little serrated spot here at the bottom and the bottom is tapered. Then I've got this one here, which is a pin and pin, and the outer collar is nicely serrated, and the uh, bottom part serrated as well, so lots of serrations. Then I've got this uh, serrated spool, I've got another T-pin key pin that is serrated with a humongous long serrated pin with lots of of serrations on it and a very nicely shaped um, serrated uh, spoolish uh, t-pin key pin nice sharp lips a nice serrated here and almost spoolish another nice serrated t-pin key pin and then another nice uh, serrated spoolish pin to uh, finish it up but guys, that's what we have in this lock that uh, Den Brass built and sent to me. Everyone, it's been uh, pretty fun with this one. Den Brass, thank you very much. So guys and gals, stay safe. 
Don't do anything illegal, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.